guys, it's Mrs. Christensen. Today I'm going to read The Three Little Pigs, an architectural tale by Stephen Parnassia. That's kind of hard to say. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a big house in the forest. One day, the three pigs said goodbye to their mother and went off to make their way in the world. Here they go. Pig decided to build his house of scraps. Oh, here he is. He has plants, so he must have been using the engineering design process. Here's his house. The second little pig decided to build his house of glass. Ooh, more plants. I love when people use the engineering design process. But the third pig decided to build his house of stone and concrete. Oh, you think that's going to be sturdy? Now there was an evil wolf who lived in the woods nearby. One day he came to the house of the first little pig and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. But the pig answered, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Ooh, what do you think is going to happen? This made the wolf so angry that he said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house of scraps away. Ooh, what should he do now? He should probably go back and try again on his plans. The first little pig ran as fast as he could to the house of his brother. Ooh. Soon the wolf came to the house of the second little pig. The wolf called out, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The second pig answered, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf gnashed his teeth and said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And the wolf huffed and he puffed. And he blew the house of glass to smithereens. So the two little pigs ran as fast as their little legs would take them to the house of their brother. Finally, the wolf arrived at the house of the third little pig. The wolf growled at the door, little pig, little pig, let me come in. But the little pig replied, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Do you think he's gonna try and blow their house down again? This enraged the evil wolf who roared, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but he couldn't budge the house of stone and concrete. The wolf said, little pig, meet me tomorrow morning at seven o'clock at the far at farmer rights, and I'll show you a fine tomato greenhouse. But the pig awoke at six o'clock, picked the best tomatoes in the greenhouse, and was home slicing them for lunch by the time the wolf arrived. I'll get you yet, said the wolf under his breath. The wolf returned to the third pig's house and said, Little pig, meet me tomorrow morning at six o'clock at Farmer Johnson's and I'll show you an orchard full of tasty apples. The next morning at five o'clock, the pig was picking the best apples in, the, in Farmer Johnson's orchard when along came the wolf. Good, aren't they? said the wolf. They certainly are, said the pig. Here, try one. As the wolf chased the apple, third pig ran home to his house of stone and concrete. Whoa, he outsmarted him. <coughs> that evening, the wolf went back to the third little pig's house and said, I'll meet you at Frank's flea market tomorrow morning at five o'clock. So the pig arrived at four. He was admiring a fine rug when he saw the wolf approaching. He hid himself in the rug and rolled down the hill toward the wolf. The wolf sped away with the rug following after him. 
The third pig returned home where he and his brothers prepared a roaring fire in the fireplace and settled in for the evening. Tricked again, the wolf rushed to the third pig's house saying under his breath, little pig, I'll get you yet. The wolf climbed onto the roof and shouted down the chimney, I'm coming in to get you. But the wolf tumbled into a roaring fire, scorching his tail. That wouldn't be fun. The wolf ran from the house, smoke steam streaming after him, and he was never seen again in the forest. The third little pigs ate a supper of tomato soup and apple pie, and they lived happily ever after. Now, if you were one of the little pigs, how would you build your house? I want you to draw some plans, and then if you have the supplies at your house, try and build a house. You could build a house out of Legos, you could build a house out of popsicle sticks, or whatever other things you have around your house. Maybe some toys, you just kind of make them into things. They don't have to really be building materials. I want you to try your best. If you make one and you want to send a picture, you can email it to me at adamsalsstem at gmail.com. Bye guys!